Greetings and salutations loyal viewers of this channel, my name is Sean, and today we got to give you an update on this whole Michael Eric Dyson Nancy May situation, which I thought we put to bed in our previous video, but he decided to go on The View where he was prompted about this, and Michael Eric Dyson dropped another insane rant related to this whole fiasco, related to this whole kerfuffle, if you will. Now, we're going to get into this, but before we do, I want to thank everybody who supports this channel via actualjusticewarrior.com slash join oh, give me the money give you give me the money okay well doctor let's get right into it i feel like i'm used to seeing you on tv but great to see you in person and for you too. But let, let's address this recent exchange you had with congresswoman nancy mace um, when you were debating or you're clashing over her <laughs> repeated mispronunciation of the vice president's name right i think we have the clip Kamala's, Kamala's, uh, oh, you had it right. I will say, you almost got it. I will say you Kamala's name it. any way that I want to. When you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just said you were racist. Yes, that is complete. No, you don't have to say. Kamala Harris, if Kamala, I know, Kamala, 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 you said it when I called you Nancy. So in our previous video, we went over this CNN clip in greater detail, but let me give you the long and short of it really quickly so we can move on to Michael Eric Dyson's new defense and him whining about potentially being canceled by the cancel culture that leftists like Michael Eric Dyson deny exists. So long story short, here's what went down. They're on a CNN panel. Nancy Mace doesn't pronounce Kamala Harris's name as Kamala Harris. She says Kamala and all of these different people on the panel go through this performative outrage over the fact that somebody would dareth pronounce Kamala Harris's name Kamala Harris. And the thing is, is almost everybody pronounced it Kamala Harris up until this point. It is a faux race issue that race hustlers like Michael Eric Dyson try to bring up even though they're labeling it as anti-black, despite the fact that Kamala Harris's name is an Indian first name. It has nothing to do with black people. And again, Kamala sounds like more of a black pronunciation than Kamala. But regardless, this happens. And then a month later, Nancy Mace decides to enter into the congressional record that posts this interview interaction, Michael Eric Dyson is sending her flirty text messages that, by the way, can clearly and obviously be read as flirty text messages. And even though Michael Eric Dyson was weaselly calling her a racist while saying, oh, I definitely wasn't calling you a racist. You're actually a wonderful person. He decides post her bringing this up that he was sending her these messages with kissy face emojis and smiley face emojis that now all of a sudden she is a racist. Again, where in that text exchange am I hitting on you? No, what you're trying to do is generate nastiness and viciousness because you're so bitter because you got your butt whipped that night because I told you then that what you were doing is wrong. And let me correct one thing I did say. That night I said, you're a wonderful woman. And then I said, I know you don't intend to do this. And she said, oh, are you calling me a racist? And of course I said, no, I wasn't. Let me correct myself. You are a racist. You are a racially charged, um, small-minded, bigoted person who is trying to exploit a situation to try to make me believe, to make people believe that I was hitting on you when I've just now read the entire exchange, which is false. I've told, I've read other exchanges with people where I've called them gorgeous and wasn't trying to hit on them. And so your attempt is sad and sorry. Which leads me to believe that Michael Eric Dyson is in fact guilty as charged with trying to flirt with Nancy Mace and his evidence that he sends these flirty messages to other people, other women. Then there is my friend Terry, who I was giving tickets to for the Democratic National Convention. I said, you know I can if I will. Everybody and they mama want these tickets for today. You look gorgeous as always. Then my colleague, Lisa, at Vanderbilt, when we took pictures, I sent them to her and I said, me and Miss Gorgeous. And then Councilwoman Mary uh, Sheffield, who is a, a councilwoman in Detroit, and I said, gorgeous and brilliant leader, bless you and thank God for your courage, strength, and leadership and then my dear friend, Susan Taylor, a renowned editor, queen, that's what I call her. So good to see you today. You look gorgeous as always. And your soul inspiring conversation was uplifting as always. 
feel better, love y'all. Does not help him and in fact hurts him. So the fact that he's on The View now in order to clear his bad name to me is hilarious because his excuses and whatnot have changed, but he's just as unhinged and just as angry. So because we live in the crazy year of 2024, she then later accused you of sending her flirty text which she entered into the congressional <laughs> record. Can you clear this up for us, Professor? Absolutely. Well, first of all, it's great to be here with you <laughs> wonderful women. Yes. Um, the thing is, is that look, let's look at a little background. Mm -hmm. I'm a preacher. So I know sin, my own and others, right? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. I saw Whoopi yesterday talk about the fact in regard to Janet Jackson, people make mistakes and we have to yeah. acknowledge that. Number two, as a professor, I've seen things evolve over space and time. What you could say 20 years ago, can't say today. No. Yeah. Not because you're suddenly wrong, but the temper of the times has yeah, changed. Right. So if you acknowledge a woman's beauty, that is a power imbalance, there's a problem there. Mm -hmm. But peer to peer, a different story. Yeah. Still cautious, but different. And then thirdly, let's look at the politics. We're living in a toxic culture mm -hmm. where there's a cancel culture gotcha. We're not trying to elevate, we're trying to eviscerate. So Michael Eric Dyson sends her flirty messages. They include him saying, we look so good together, shush, don't tell anyone. You also have a smiley face and a kissy face in there. And then he says, your gorgeousness makes the photo. And Nancy Mace interprets this how many a people in Michael Eric Dyson Dyson's own comment section would interpret it, many people on the left wing would interpret it as flirty messages. But rather than say that there was a miscommunication, that he didn't intend it this way, he says that this is proof that Nancy Mace is a racist because thinking flirty messages from a black man being sent to you are in fact flirty messages is actually playing on the old trope of a black brute trying to get at an innocent white woman. So when it comes to Nancy Mace, you see I tried to be nice to the woman. <laughs> I, I said, you you're a wonderful woman. I lied. I then said, but, but I tried to be nice to her. Yeah. And then even when I pointed out to her what the repetition of the misnaming of Kamala Harris would do, she got defensive. Oh, you're calling me a racist. No. And you never did. I, was I never did. Yeah. I, I think Shakespeare said the lady doth protest too much. Yeah. Or in the hood, we say a hit dog will holler. Yeah, so the point right. is that, that this woman has now depended upon, like her inspiration, Donald Trump, a racist trope. Yeah. The black brute seeks That's the right. innocent white woman. That's and right. now I'm seeking lasciviously to approach her. I didn't call her names. I acknowledge her humanity. Again, just look at how pathetic this guy is in response to this. He can't just acknowledge that this could be interpreted in this way? No, he has to go, you're racist, everybody ignore her, racist, 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 because this is his go-to move. And this is one of the reasons why, even though if he had said that he sent this message not in a flirting way, I might have been suspicious, I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt, that I withdraw that benefit of the doubt for Michael Eric Dyson, because his defense does not address the charge at hand. He's throwing out something completely random, which is even more suspicious. And I'll say one final thing to all of these white Christians, and she's one of them, the, the Bible says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn their face to God and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven yes. and then I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. Right. They have not forgiven themselves. White Christians hate themselves for the past wrongs that have been done. And I'm here as a loving Christian to say, let's grapple with that past, mm -hmm. acknowledge the historic legacy of, of supremacy. Don't deny it. Don't erase it. Don't eviscerate it. Don't remove it from the history books. Confront it. And then when you forgive yourselves, we can go forward. I am a human being. Have I made mistakes? Absolutely. Have I said the wrong thing to people that I wish I could take back? Absolutely. But I am a child of God. And that means I don't have to be perfect to be useful. And I don't have to be unflawed to shine bright. Again, what the hell is Michael Eric Dyson talking about? He's saying that white Christians, specifically white Christian women, hate themselves. That They hate their past of white supremacy. And this is the reason why Nancy May didn't accept his flirtatious advances absurd in every possible way insane in every possible way has nothing to do with the topic at hand but when you're michael eric dyson and you're doing this race hustle being interested in white women is a crime it's something that is very off-putting to black women so he has to go completely over the top in order to save face on his reputation even though again if he was actually innocent if he actually wasn't flirting with this woman if he actually wasn't trying to push this a little bit further he could have just said clearly 
and obviously this was a misinterpretation but instead it's not only that nancy mace is an evil white racist for thinking that a man who is sending her messages like he's hitting on her might be hitting on her but also all white christian women are evil because they're obsessed with their past and they can't get over it even though this is objectively projection from michael eric dyson he's obsessed with the past he race hustles off of that constantly he pretends like linear time doesn't exist and he blames all of the problems that black people face which by the way most of them they are the author of their own peril on evil white racism and the evil white racists it's shameful and disgusting ridiculous and absurd and all the people in the views audience that are pathetically clapping for this are embarrassing don't deny it don't erase it don't eviscerate it don't remove it from the history books confront it and then when you forgive yourselves we can go forward i am a human being have i made mistakes absolutely have i said the wrong thing to people that i wish i could take back absolutely but i am a child of god and that means i don't have to be perfect to be useful and i don't have to be unflawed to shine bright so for those you who just heard all of that nonsense all of that race hustling double speak all of that sound and fury signifying nothing do you not notice how guilty michael eric dyson looks how guilty he sounds right now in this moment on the view just listen to the words that he's saying he's claiming that he didn't do nothing wrong he wasn't sending any flirty text messages or anything like that but earlier on he said well there's certain things that you can't really say that you could say before but now they're not acceptable under new context and now he's also saying look I i'm not perfect i don't need to be perfect i have flaws you know but i'm a child of god and i i could be a child of god and, and fight for what's right and what's justified and all that michael either you were flirting with her or you weren't Either it is an understandable misinterpretation on Nancy Mace's fault, to which you could say it wasn't intended that way, and then we can move along, I won't make a big deal about it, or Nancy Mace is an evil white racist filled with evil white racism, and also I'm going to whisper into the mic after that, that oh, I'm not perfect, and you know, I have flaws or whatever, what, what, what does that have to do with anything? What are you saying you're not perfect about unless you're actually acknowledging that you did send these flirty messages as a married man who, by the way has been married three different times apparently you send these messages to all different various varieties of women in your day-to-day -day lives including co-workers but no 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 in this particular case he, he didn't do anything wrong but also he's not perfect and you know he makes mistakes but he didn't make a mistake in this case but also nancy mace is an evil white racist don't listen to her just tell her to shut up with her evil white racism this is pathetic this is ridiculous the fact that he's doubling down and tripling down in this embarrassment embarrassing way that he's trying to play the race card so cynically and so obviously to benefit himself is a reason why nobody should ever take him seriously again he just linked all white Christians to Nancy Mace feeling like he was flirting with him based on the messages that were obviously flirty. What a total meltdown. What an embarrassment. Again, look at the way he's biting on his lip. Look at how uncomfortable he is even after delivering all that nonsense. He knows that that's not true. He knows that he's guilty. Everybody understands it. And the more he doubles down and triples down and tries to demonize Nancy Mace for an interpretation that's perfectly understandable that again, if he would have just said it wasn't intended that way my bad I didn't mean for it to be read that way but I understand why we could have all just moved on but instead he has to double down attack her attack all white women Christians because I guess they're all at fault for rejecting him over the course of years and we're all supposed to pretend like this is normal and the view does they move on from this they let him engage in this vicious attack despite the fact that you have a bunch of different various women and you know for a fact that many of them have been hit on in awkward ways and in their heart of hearts especially if this was a guy with an r next to his name they would 100 percent understand where nancy mace is coming from but this is the pathetic state of our politics right now you have michael eric dyson a race hustler showing his inauthenticity showing that he can go after somebody on air but try to slip into the sheets off air because that's who he is and honestly it's shameful but you know what those are just my thoughts let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you like this video then show them by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on the social media support me via the support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about michael eric dyson melting down on the view till next time